welcome back to the channel. I've got uh, an unusual one going for you here. I'm going to do a review on this. This was a $60 upstream O2 sensor, which is an AFR sensor on these. The only reason I'm trusting this is because one of the active members of some Facebook Subaru groups that I'm a part of, uh, he posted that he had the exact same symptoms that I'm having with this, uh, stumbling, a little bit of hesitation sometimes, lazy AFRs, stalling at lights. Uh, this is doing all of those. The oxygen sensor on this is really, really old. It's the original one for the car. I had replaced it a while ago, uh, right before I parked this. I replaced the O2 sensor on it. One of my buddies couldn't get a hold of one and needed it real quick, so I sold it to him, never got another one. And when it was time to put this thing back together on a budget, I didn't remember until it was the very last minute that I didn't have an O2 sensor anymore. So I went into my bin, I found the original one, and popped it back in. And it seemed to be okay. So I figured I'd give this a try. Um, hopefully it works. Let's see what we got. All right, that's promising. It actually, if you guys know Subies, you know that these turbo ones have the, uh, the ring on the front O2 sensor. So that's a good sign. Uh, same blue insulation that the factory one has. You know, four plug harness, we'll see if it's the same one. Hopefully it fits right in there. I'm gonna put on some gloves so I don't get any oils on that before I stick it in. Card go up. Now, this didn't come with a packet of the anti seize to put on there, but it is, if that'll focus, there's already some on the threads. So, good enough for me. the wire up and then I'm going to unplug the other one and plug this in once I get it up there and then I can re-zip tie it so it's not flopping around in the bag. Old sensor out. O2 sensor back in my bin because if I ever have a, one of these that would take that sensor that is bad enough where it actually triggers the engine light, that one didn't have a light on. It was just slow response and, you know, performance suffered. I didn't want to get the car tuned that way. Normally I would tune my own. Um, I've never really had to get too far into tip in and with this being able to make boost at a really low RPM, the timing map is a little tricky too. I'm going to start this up, see if it is any better. Um, I'm going to compare it to the AFRs on the wideband because they were conflicting the other day when I went to start this up. Uh, normally, normally my O2 sensor would work right off the bat. It would show me readings when I started the car and uh, a a week or two ago, it wasn't doing that. It was pausing for the first like minute or so, 
and then it did that for like a week and stopped and all of a sudden it went back to responding immediately again but now at idle the readings were at least a full point if not uh, a point and a half like my wideband setup is idling at 16 and the factory on my uh, scan gauge the BTSSM on my phone that was saying 14.7 and the car was like sitting there loping you could tell it wasn't happy so I didn't believe the factory one I took it out for a ride and I monitored the two of them together and once you start moving they agree with each other and they're fine they're they're like within a half a point if not dead on sometimes like they normally would be uh, but for some reason as soon as it goes back down to idle my wideband says 16 and it idles like crap so we're gonna give this O2 sensor a shot let's see how it does <laughs> working right away. It's the first time it's idling with it, so we'll see what kind of corrections we get here. Piece of crap. Don't buy this brand. No. 
that's getting sent back. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and uh, get one from Subaru. We did actually sell a car today. Um, one of the two cars that was in the carport, there was a white Outback in there, an 03, and we also have the 06 Dodge Stratus. We sold the Outback today. Um, once I'm done playing with this, I'd like to get that Stratus done and get it out of my carport so that I have parking. <laughs> So I think tomorrow we're going to take a ride down to the Subaru dealership and pick up an OEM or I may go to Napa and get like a Denso or a Bosch with a known good part number. And Denso is also the OEM manufacturer. So even if you get a Subaru one, it's a Denso. Even if you get a Bosch one, it's also a Denso. So yeah. One of those is going to be significantly more than this. I tried to save like 50, 60 bucks on it. And, um, yeah, don't do that. 